All right, another little quick one. So it's a 98 Chevy 1500. They used to have a camper in the back and they have two batteries in it. Customer's complaint was when it's cold, it doesn't like to start. She was saying she could go and tap on the fuel tank and sometimes it would work, sometimes it wouldn't. Uh, kind of sounds like a fuel pump. I've ran it down below a quarter of a tank, and as you know, these GMs, they use fuel to cool off the fuel pump. So the fuel is the cooling, yeah. Anyway, so because it's jacketed in the fuel, the fuel will suck away the, uh, the heat, and then it evaporates, goes through the evaporative emission system, and gets sucked back through the engine and burned anyway. So, but anyway, so she said that she was having an issue with it when it was cold, didn't want to start. That sounds like battery so I came in here and looked 5 of 17 she just replaced this battery so I started looking around she has another battery it's currently on the charger cells were all low I actually don't think there was anything in the positive side so I've got them filled up I've got the vents off and I've got it charging so very very slowly but it's charging so that comes back here to our little electric box fuse relay center and I looked at this guy because this one not only is it blown but if you flip down our box auxiliary so this guy right here here's our primary in from the battery that is our primary out. This is the auxiliary out. Well, yeah, so the auxiliary out. So he goes up to here, out, hooks into here. This guy's got some kind of a weird wiring. It's going over the wiper motor, I'm assuming, so that way when he powers the truck on, it turns on this relay, so that way it'll charge the battery. And this guy has two terminals run that's running back to the back, so that way you could have it powering up his camper. The other one that's coming up here. Fuse is blown, no power is going through, this battery isn't charging. I'm pretty sure the reason that that battery, or excuse me, that fuse blew was because of the corrosion on that battery. Now if you can see that little bottle I've got down there, because this all comes full circle. Excuse me. It's still bubbling. This was clear water. The only thing that I added to it was baking soda. It was hot water, obviously, so that way I could get the baking soda to... But that's been sitting there for like five minutes. There was a lot of corrosion on it, so much so that they have an auxiliary terminal that was originally part of that terminal that corroded off. This was their solution. This guy, following him around, goes the battery terminal on the back of the alternator. So it wasn't charging, their fix was replace the battery, good fix, but they didn't fix the cause of it. So I'm now cleaning that up. Afterwards, I'm gonna coat it in bulb grease or dielectric grease um, on the contact surfaces. And then on everything else, I'm gonna coat it in regular axle grease. Uh, what the axle grease will do is it'll keep the uh, vapors because when you charge battery uh, it does release gas and it's a charged gas so it's going to look for a place to stick so it usually goes to the positive terminal reason it's going to go there and stick versus a negative you're going to get some on the negative but you're not going to get as much but it'll stick to the positive terminal it'll get into all the little cracks and crevices now if you seal that up from oxygen with grease you won't get any corrosion buildup on there. It'll have to go somewhere else. But that right there is probably the primary cause of all of the issues. So I get this done, truck's done, customer's happy.